in the sewer, it's a very hard job. You know they won't hire just any old slob. You don't have to wear... Hi, my name is Caitlin, and I'll be your guide on a journey through your role in the carbon cycle. So what is the carbon cycle? Perhaps we better ask ourselves the question, what is carbon? Maybe you've heard of it before. Carbonation? Carbon footprint? Carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide? But carbon is more than just a tasty meal or a nice cool beverage. Oh yeah! Isn't that right, Mr. Squirrel? <laughs> carbon is the sixth element on the periodic table and, believe it or not, Carbon makes up a huge part of all living organisms. You, animals, plants, bugs, I mean bugs, and even some kind of rocks are made of carbon. Even the air you breathe has carbon in it in the form of carbon dioxide. The only living things that may not be carbon-based would have to be strange aliens from outer space. So, if all organic matter is made of carbon, the new carbon must be being made all the time, right? Wrong! In fact, all carbon that's on the Earth today has been around since, well, pretty much forever. That means that carbon has to be recycled and reused on a constant basis. Long story short, you could be made of the same carbon that made up a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a Brontosaurus, or even a giant sloth that lived a bazillion years ago. So how is this all possible? Hey you, quit daydreaming. Go fill up that truck. You know, the carbon cycle is pretty amazing. Just give me a minute while I fill this truck. <laughs> This is tough work. Hey, Caitlin, you know you could have used the loader, right? Oh, crap. Boy, am I hungry. Let's go eat. The carbon you eat in the form of food gets broken down in your stomach to a simple sugar called glucose. This sugar then reacts with the air you breathe to create energy for you to use and grow. You then exhale some of the excess carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. This is called respiration. The carbon then continues on to be used by plants, which takes the carbon dioxide in the air and sunlight and use it to grow, creating oxygen as a byproduct. Fun fact, most of this tree didn't grow out of the ground, but actually out of the air. This is called photosynthesis. As plants and animals die, their carbon breaks down and decomposes back into the soil and air for further use by other organisms. This is truly the circle of life. Now I should say that not all of the carbon we eat gets breathed back into the atmosphere or used in our bodies to grow. The excess carbon takes a different path in the carbon cycle. Speaking of, I need to go take care of some business. You stay right here. You guys just don't give up, do you? <sighs> okay, fine. I mentioned that we don't use all the carbon that we eat. In fact, we put some additional carbon back into the carbon cycle when we, um, take care of some business. This is often taken for granted, but it's 
since you insist. We sing the song of the sewer, of the sewer, we sing this song. Together we stand, we shovel in hand to keep things rolling along. There's a lot of interesting things that happen after you flush. Come with me, let's check it out. You've probably seen some of these manholes in the streets by your house. Every time you flush, rinse, drain, shower or bathe, the water and the carbon that you use goes into a small pipe on your house, to a bigger pipe. On and on to bigger pipes that makes its way into the next step of the carbon recycling process. It all comes here, a wastewater treatment plant. Here are the heroes of the wastewater treatment process. They're tiny bacteria. They eat the carbon that we flush. They like to eat and eat and eat until they die. Some of them like to eat while they're attached to something. Others like to swim freely while they eat. Let's take a closer look. That's right, you can't see them with the naked eye. This is much better. He worked in a sewer uptown. I followed his footsteps and worked my way down. That's how I began in this here industry. I just sort of fell into a sheep lucky me. We sing the song of the sewer. Sing that song. The sewer, we sing this song. This isn't what you might think it is. They're actually those bugs we just saw, only now they're dead. After they die, we use them as nutrient-rich fertilizer for crops. So, you've probably figured out what happens next. The carbon in fertilizer becomes crops. The crops then feed animals, which eventually end up as the main entree at Sunday dinner with light gravy. So here we see how a sewage treatment plant furthers along the carbon cycle. We call this a wastewater treatment plant, but we might as well call it a carbon recycling plant. So there you have it, the carbon cycle. From one living thing to another to another. And next time you go to the bathroom, remember to pat yourself on the back for doing your part in the carbon cycle. Together we stand with Keep things rolling along